Hey guys, Richard at Fish and Auto Channel and Reefs.com. Thank you for joining me today. Today, I would like to show you a video, a live demonstration of SeaTac. Let's go. All right, guys, so I first introduced you guys to this product, SeaTac, during MACNA of last year in Wisconsin. And this product has been a talk of the town. Everybody was talking about it. Everyone was excited about this coming out and etc. And when people got their hands on it, there was mixed opinion. Some people loved it, absolutely just loved it. Some people didn't like it at all. Some people just hated it. And reason for that was because this was very different from our traditional crazy glue that we use in our home aquariums. Instead of the instant gratification that the crazy glue that we use in our home aquarium gives, we actually have to give some time for this to set and we were so trained to use different type of crazy glues in our aquarium and that's where I think it went wrong. So I got together with my buddy Todd of Champion Lighting who's a distributor for SeaTac in the United States and with him I asked him to give us a live demonstration of how we could use this product so you could decide for yourself if this application can be used for your needs. Now with that said, let's go. My name is Todd Kunkel, I'm the Vice President of Champion Lighting and Supply and today I'm going to introduce you to SeaTac. SeaTac is an underwater adhesive used for coral propagation. It's also for aquascaping. You'll see the adhesive here. It was used to bond all these rocks together. SeaTac can be used underwater or outside of water. It has a longer working time than cyanoacrylate and, and epoxy. What corals Okay, application for SeaTac. We're just going to apply some adhesive to your plug. Okay. We have a coral, our coral skeleton, or a coral piece here, which is already wet. So the key is you want to dry that off before you apply it to the adhesive. You want to get that water out of there. You don't want any water in between the adhesive and the coral. So we're going to dab it dry. Okay. And then just place the coral in there. And that's it. Now you can place it into your frag tray, your frag rack, put it in an area of low current. If you want, you can also sculpt the adhesive. If you want to hide the frag plug, you can kind of sculpt that out of there. And then you're just going to place it in your rack. Give it about an hour or so to set up. Um, to give you an example, because it has a longer working time, it's 30 minutes of working time, which means if the coral falls over, you can reset the coral. Uh, about an hour later, it'll start to skin over. In about three to four hours, it'll be strong enough that you can actually pick up that rock with the coral and it won't fall off of there. Um, this was done at 9 o'clock, so we got a three-hour window right now. This was done at 9. Uh, right now, you can feel the adhesive right there. It's skinned over, but it's a little mushy on the inside. Okay. And then an hour later, so that's about two hours ago, we still got skinned over on top, but it's a little softer yet. Okay. And these were done about a half an hour ago, and we still got a little bit of stickiness. A little bit of stickiness. Okay. Nice thing about SeaTac is you can wipe it off your fingers. It won't stick to your fingers like super loop. Just use a paper towel. Any residual, any residual can be cleaned off with alcohol. You can just spray some alcohol on your fingers and wipe off the rest of it. Offer it in a 10 ounce caulk tube, which is, uses a standard caulk gun. This is bigger size is good for aquascaping. We offer it in a two ounce tube. Our other applicator is this mini gun. Mini gun is a one ounce tube with the mini gun and a needle for underwater application. This allows you to go up into the, into the joints of the rock and apply the adhesive underwater into the joints. Okay, so what we're gonna show here is these corals were done back four months ago. And because the adhesive is more of an inviting surface area, it's 50% calcium carbonate, the corals are growing over the adhesive a lot faster than they would if they were under cyanoacrylate. Um, within about two to three weeks, I'm seeing coral tissue grow over that. This is already four months. It's covered up most of the, uh, the adhesive. Also, you'll notice on this, this guy right here, this candy cane, I got some coral and algae growing on adhesive. That was only happened about four weeks. And if you look at this piece down here, this was done last night, you'll notice there's no tissue burn there. The, the polyps are right at the glue joint. So I made a blunder on this. 
and that blunder is that I forgot to include how to use this item underwater. And my excuse was because the Champions booth in the Reef of Blues Orlando was one of the busiest booths that in the whole show. I mean, you could see from Todd losing his voice as well as a C-Tech rep losing his voice after two days of non-stop speaking and demonstrations and etc. And with that said, I reached out to Todd once again. So if you could give us how to apply this underwater and see if this could be applicable for your needs. All right, with that said, let's go check it out. Hey, Richard, you're gonna give you a quick demo on how we're gonna use SeaTac and apply a frag plug underwater. First step is we're gonna prime the area where we're gonna place the plug. And to do that, we're gonna take a little bit of adhesive, apply it to our finger. Okay, and we're gonna go in, apply it to the rock, and basically just push out the water layer and create a fine spot for the plug to sit. Now the adhesive, um, if you try to just take the tube underwater and you try to apply it like that, you're not going to see much adhesive. You really need to use your finger and push the water layer out and prime the area first. Otherwise, uh, using the tube, you're going to have a hard time trying to get that adhesive to stick to the rock. Next step is we're going to take our frag plug. We're going to dry the bottom of the frag plug. Just use a towel, wipe it dry, get the water layer off of the bottom. And then we're going to take our adhesive and apply it to the base of the frag plug. Basically, we're just going to push it into the plug a little bit and then build up the layer where we want to fill in the gap. Okay. Now we're going to take our plug, place it into the water next to the rock where we're going to apply the plug and just squeeze and twist in place. Now, if you want to come back, you can clean that off. You can just kind of swipe away any of the excess out of there. And that's it. Let's do one more plug. So again, what we're gonna do is we're gonna take some adhesive, apply some adhesive to your finger. We're gonna go in and apply it to the rock. Push out the water layer. Here's the spot for the fry plug to sit. Take our anacopora here. We're gonna dry off the base. Dry off the base of this. Okay. Once the base is dry, you can apply some with your finger. Okay. Then we're just going to place the coral fry right in the spot where we prime the rock. Push down and twist a little bit. That's it. All right, so we still have a piece of an aquaphor that broke off. Uh, let's go ahead and try to mount that as is without a plug to the rock under water. So again, we're gonna take a, a dab of adhesive. We're going to find the rock area. Now we can build up the adhesive layer a little bit. Okay. We're going to take the frag, so a little piece here. All we're going to do place that into the adhesive, keep the current low, keep the current down to low for at least about an hour and a half, two hours until the uh, adhesive starts to firm up. At that point you can then turn up the adhesive or turn up the uh, pumps and uh, put the flow back to normal. 
All right, guys, thank you for watching the video. Once again, this is Richard from Reefs.com, and I hope this cleared some of the confusion. If you already had a tube and didn't have a, such a good experience, hopefully this kind of like made it easier for you, and then hopefully you'll give it another try with that leftover on your tube and see how that goes from there, and hopefully your experience has gotten better. And for those of you guys who is looking for a different type of adhesive for much stronger application, you could check this product out and let me know how it goes. All right, guys, let me know what you think in the comments section down below. And thank you for watching once again, and have a great day, guys.